Okay, this is the third day of a lunatic, right? It's seven o'clock now. <laughs> uh, had had some company for a little bit. My uh, neighbors, uh, my neighbors came over, and their real their their kid, their their young children. Their um, uh, let me see how I can explain this. Their mother was gone to play bingo. Okay. And they were locked out of the house and didn't have nothing to eat, so I gave them each a TV dinner and a soda and let them play Wii uh, Sports Resort for a little while. And then I told them at 7 o'clock, you're going to have to go home. So now they're gone home and uh, they, they got full bellies and also gave them uh, a box of oatmeal cream pies. <laughs> Anyhow... This is the third day of a lunatic, and I'm going to do something a little different than what I usually do. Um, you know, I live in the state of Florida, and they don't have 40-ounce bottles anywhere in Florida. So, I got a 32 King Cobra. I'm going to make a malt liquor video. I'm not going to chug it, because I can't chug it. Uh, it just it wouldn't, do, it wouldn't work too well. The video, you know, you wouldn't want to see that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just make a, a, a I'm gonna make me a a malt liquor video. This is called let's call this one uh I don't know what to call it. Let's start drinking. That's King Cobra's not bad, I'll tell you what. It's not good either. <laughs> but it's not bad. I've had a lot worse. I drank an earthquake one time and it sucked. Oh my God, that shit sucked. It was so nasty. But this ain't that bad. Uh, that's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Pretty, that's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Anyhow, what should we talk about? Oh, the drag race is tomorrow. I was gonna go to the Outlaw Spring Nationals. Canceled, it's gonna rain. That sucks. They're going to have to reschedule it. That's a bummer. I was going to be able to have a good time out there, but oh well. I was thinking maybe uh, Ranchero the Worm was going to come out there and we was going to be able to meet up at the drag races, but Ranchero, don't go to the drag races. They ain't going to be open. Um, but I did get my car, or my truck number two finished, remember? And I'm really still happy about that. Um... <laughs> Let's see. I would like to just thank some of my lo loyal viewers. Uh, Matt, Ron, uh, Captain John, Rugby. Uh, I've, got, I've got a few uh, Timber. i got a few people. Um, i got a lot of guys out there. Y'all know who you are. Everybody knows who you are. But Let's see, I got 155 subscribers now. But when I put a video up, I'm lucky if I get 50 views. What the heck happened to all the other 100 people? <laughs> I don't know. Something ain't right. Well, like Marcel said, it takes a little bit of time, you know, to just hang in there. And I'm, I'm going to hang in there. I'll get to it. Yep. Paperweight girls just come on the scene, y'all. Paperweight girl, uh, Got a lot of paperweights, but she's got some really cool videos, and uh, I just want to welcome her to the scene, to the to the YouTube scene. She's fresh out of the, fresh out of the, I don't know what you'd call it, out, out of the box, I guess. She's fresh out of the box. <laughs> yep. And uh, the crazy, insane Hawaiian. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers, aloha. Oh man, that guy is amazing. When he turns it up, it goes away. It's like a a vortex, like a whirlpool straight down his throat. <laughs> he is the chug king. I am sorry. Anybody else that thinks that they're better than him or whatever, I ain't seen anybody that can chug them and put them down and put them away like the crazy Hawaiian. <coughs> the insane Hawaiian. But uh, let's see what else we're going to say. Um, Ron, yeah. 
Ron, Mr. Teal Times is going to take a trip to see Captain John. Man, that is going to be a blast. You're going to enjoy that. That's going to be a, I, I can't wait to see those videos. Uh, when y'all, when y'all get there, y'all drink one for me. Okay. Drink one for me, please. Y'all have to all get a drink or, or a, a drink drink, a mixed drink or whatever, a shot of something and say, this is a, this is a, this one's for lunatic and y'all just down it. <laughs> just do that for me. That'd be cool. I wish I could be there, but I can't. Um, but have a drink for me anyway, and have a safe trip too. By the way, be, be careful while you're driving and all that. You know, just, you may still be in a little snow. I don't know what the roads are like up there. Um, so be careful. Just be careful. Malt like a video. Malt, oh, put the outside out. That's right. I forgot. You got to have the label out so everybody knows what you're drinking. <laughs> it's kind of got a metallic taste to it. Like maybe, I don't know. It's, have you ever had a beer that had a metallic taste? Kind of like you got metal in your mouth. I don't know. That's kind of weird. But oh well, it's malt liquor. Dollar fifty <laughs> for a bottle. 6% alcohol. It's made by Anheuser for Bush. Uh, smooth taste premium malt liquor. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's really malt liquor if you ask me. <laughs> Look at that. Looks like regular beer. And it tastes like regular beer. It does not taste like a malt at all. Uh, it's refreshing though. It's, it's okay. It ain't too bad. Um... I'm going to talk about something else. Oh, my neighbors, my two little neighbor kids that live over there next door. Man, I'm going to miss them. They're moving. Their mom, is, is, she's having a hard time getting a job around here and, and making ends meet. And she played bingo to get by. Because, you know, down here when you play bingo, you can win some jackpot money. And she's been playing bingo to get by. and But it just ain't working out for them. So she's going to move to Mississippi. She's a single mother. She's a... I guess she's probably about 30, 30, maybe 35, 32, 30, somewhere around there. <clears throat> and she's from, she's Russian, I guess. She's Russian or something. I don't know what she is. But she talks really funny, all right? And uh, her kids are just American as can be, American as apple pie. But she just, I don't know, she ain't, her, she still got an accent from somewhere. But anyway, they lived over here for a while, and, and I've, you know, I've become friends with them, and I'm going to miss them when they leave. And they're going to miss me, too. Well, I hope I get, now, now I got a new neighbor on that side that y'all seen the videos to that. Now, I'm going to have nobody on that side for a minute, but who's going to show up there? I don't know. There ain't no telling who's going to move in goodness but i guess after they move out if the landlord don't come over there and clean the damn yard up i will because their yard is filthy shit everywhere garbage not garbage garbage but just stupid crap a shoe here a shoe there a brick broken rocks just things you know a pot that ain't got nothing in it a fly a, you know, just a trashy 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 yard and I, my, I don't like that. That ain't no good. I don't really know what, to, what, to, how, how to do this video. I mean, I really don't even know how long I've been making this video. Um, I'm just rambling on. I'm trying, trying to kind of uh, making this video with influence from from Matt. Okay, Mabry. I don't know how you pronounce your name, maybe, maybe, whatever, but when I look at your name, I think Marlboro. 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 <laughs> anyway, Matt's his name. He just got him a new truck. And, hey, buddy. Cheers for your new truck. It's it's nice. I like it. It's a uh, four-wheel drive, of course. Hey, hey, hey. I know you ain't going to take yours in the mud or nothing like that, but, man, I sure would if I was you. I love off-roading. It's fun. Oh, that's what I'll tell you about. I'm looking on Craigslist. You know, I look through Craigslist every once in a while, and I, I do like three, three, four surrounding cities that are close here, 
and I found uh, a guy on Craigslist giving away a box. Now these were free, a free box of off-road magazines. Uh, I mean, there must have been. I don't know. There's, there's, I, there's at least a hundred magazines in this box. He just gave them to me. I said, I'll take them. And he said, okay. He told me the address where they were. And I told him when I'd come. I said, I'll be there tomorrow but around 10 o'clock to pick them up. And he said, there'll be a box in the at the edge and end of the driveway. And there sure enough was. I went out there and picked me up a whole box of off-road magazines. And uh, that, that's cool. Because I was about to get me a prescription for it. And uh, now I don't need to. So I got a shitload of them I can look through. But, you know, most of them are about Jeeps. And I don't, you know, I like Jeeps, but I don't have a Jeep. I have four, Toyota 4 Runners. Uh, I seen Obama today. He come on the news and he was saying something about so and so and so and so needs to step down and get out of there or whatever. You know, this crap that's going on over there. Well, I got, a, I got something to say, Mr. Obama. It's none of your fucking business. It's none of our business. Why does the fucking American government keep getting in all these other countries' other fucking goddamn deal? You, they got this shit going on over there? Let's, we, it ain't none of our fucking business. We don't need to go to war over there bullshit. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. If you want to go to war, say fuck that. Y'all wanna go to war and say fuck that? Fuck that? Fuck that? Don't fucking goddamn get into these other people's business. That really is getting to me. That's it's, it's affecting my world and my happiness and my freedom here in my country when you send our troops over there to fight for some shit that ain't got nothing to do with us. <laughs> Damn, I ain't even a <laughs> little bit over halfway done. I'm starting to rant. You know, there's some beer that'll do that. Uh, my ex-girlfriend, we, we used to, when I used to, whoo, I can tell you what, I'll tell you what, I mean, and I realized this, when I drank Steel Reserve, we always get into arguments. But if I didn't, if I drank something like a regular beer, it, everything was fine. But Steel Reserve, we would always end up in an argument. And I realized it was my fault because of what I was drinking. <clears throat> you know that was causing me to become irritated over stupid things <clears throat> so uh and not that no that's not why she's my ex-girlfriend <laughs> she's my ex-girlfriend for other reasons uh that i i chose for her to be my ex-girlfriend um and it worked out for the best because she found somebody that would marry her because <laughs> i wasn't going to uh, <laughs> and I told her that. Um, ah, let's move on. Let's move on to the next subject. Damn, it tastes like a fucking metal. It must taste. It must be the pipes that they pop pump it through or something. I don't know. You ever have? You ever, has anybody ever tasted a metal taste in a beer? Uh, anyway. I'm out of Xanax. Oh, no more Xanax. All gone. What am I going to do? <laughs> What's that? Tramadol. Woo! Uh, totally different shit. Oh, I got a challenge. Here, y'all Y'all like doing challenges? I'm not going to do this, but I'll challenge somebody to. Take a... Uh, Take one of these, liquid or gel, maximum strength. Take a bottle of the, take the whole bottle, swish it around in your mouth for 30 seconds and spit it out. That's a challenge. I want to see a video of somebody doing that. Keep it in there as long as you can. Hell, 30 seconds, that's, that's enough though, I think, to, to do the trick. <laughs> the whole bottle, all of it. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do it. I like I like these challenges, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm a little bit smarter than that. 
it's getting there y'all it's getting there uh I, I, I'm just I, there's so many people that I want to give a shout out to that I can't I mean I can sit I, I can I can I can click right now because the clickers right here oh the clickers right here I could click and go find out who you know I'm, I'm thinking of but I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna do that <coughs> uh, I've, I've about got played out with David's farm and redneck Rickham and all that I mean it's winter I know that they can't do a whole lot out there in the winter but I've, I've realized that there's a community out there of people that are interested in, in you you know not interested in you but people that become friends of yours and they enjoy watching your videos uh, because they're interested in you because they like you you know not you know what I'm saying like they think you're all right they think you're cool friend I don't know what I'm saying I have a hard time making vlogs as y'all can tell I'm usually more just spontaneous and just blah blah blah, blah or whatever but let's do this oh I got a game over here I never even tried hang on it's been here for about a year hang on Counter-Strike Has anybody ever played that? I, I bought it About a year ago I ain't never fucking played it It's, it's just been sitting there You know uh, If anybody's ever played it It's called Counter-Strike Source If anybody's ever played it Let me know Give me a review on it And tell me what you think about it Let me see some other stuff that I'll I'll show you some other stuff I got that I really like now this is an off-road game uh, insane that's a one but it's supposed to be an eyes it's it's insane by Codemasters one insane off-road game cool driving uh, let's see this next one is called Baja 1000 cool ass off-road game racing off-road racing for the pc next one i like playing need for spirit need for speed pro street love it need for speed high stakes old game don't buy it need for speed carbon awesome pc game another old game hitman hitman code name 47 pretty good game if you like uh, sh first person shooters and one of my favorites need for speed undercover awesome racing game awesome racing game well I'm getting this this video starting to get a little bit too long but let me tell you there are a couple more videos of uh, games up there one is pure it's an off-road racing game another one's called dirt Colin Ray or whatever, it's another off-road racing game, and another one's called Fuel. Y'all, if you're anybody in, into the games, you know these games. Uh, those three games that I got up there, they won't work on this PC. I'm just saving them for one day later that maybe I'll get a different computer and they'll work, but for this one, they just seem to lag real bad and I can't play them. Uh, I'm going to die on this and I'm going to kill this video. Thank you for watching all of my videos. I love all my viewers. Thank you for sticking with me and not just, you know, giving up on me. And I will become something fun. <laughs> okay. If I'm not already, I will become something fun. Keep it down. Keep it down. Keep it down. Think about something else. It wants to come back up so bad. Oh boy. All right. I did it. I killed a freaking bottle of malt liquor. Whew, that last chug was awesome. Whatever.
foam. Ah. Whew. Bye, folks. Uh. Oh, that's as real as it gets. People tell you on your videos, keep it real. I'm keeping it real. I ain't editing that shit out. Sorry, y'all. I can't do malt liquor that wonderful. I mean, I could have drank it all the way down completely with no problem, but at the end there, when I started to chug it, it just starts foaming inside your stomach, you know? It makes starts just making bubbles and bubbles inside your stomach. And, uh... I don't see how y'all do that, how y'all can keep all that foam down. Like, when you pour a beer real hard and it gets a big head, it overflows the glass. Well, that's what just happened to me. I'm keeping it real. Peace out, everybody. Friday night at 7.30. And, uh... I'm gonna stick to uh, I'm gonna stick to my my beer my brand my, my other beer one of my other beers. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna upload this and uh, thanks everybody. This is my Friday night fuck up. <laughs> That's what we'll call it. We'll call it a Friday night fuck up. Bye.